food, the anticipation, Ooh. building a triad rivalry. Again, no matter who wins tonight, history will be made. These teams have not gone head to head in more than 50 years. Yeah, and WFNY News 2's Sean Higgins has more on the history of both teams. The Greensboro Grasshoppers and the Winston-Salem Dash are just the latest iterations of a rich baseball history here in the triad that goes all the way back to the early 1900s. Over the course of the last 119 years, Greensboro and Winston-Salem have combined for 24 minor league titles, with six former players being inducted to the Hall of Fame, the most recent addition being Yankee great Derek Jeter. It all started in 1902 with the Greensboro Farmers, the triad's first professional baseball team. Just three years later, the Salisbury Spencer Twins would move north to give Winston-Salem a team of their own. The Farmers eventually became the Patriots, a name that honored the rich revolutionary history of Greensboro, while Winston-Salem stuck with the Twins nickname as a nod to the Twin Cities of Winston and Salem. The current Dash name is an homage to the Twin Cities and the Dash or hyphen between Winston and Salem. In 1945, Winston-Salem and Greensboro joined the Carolina League, and in 1968, the Greensboro Patriots and Winston-Salem Red Sox would play the final game between the two cities as Greensboro took a 10-year hiatus from professional baseball. Winston-Salem remained in the Carolina League until it was discontinued last year, making it the longest-running franchise in that league's history and in the triad. The Hornets brought baseball back to Greensboro in 1979 as members of the South Atlantic League, and it's been here ever since, eventually becoming the Grasshoppers in 2005. Now, after some minor league restructuring, the Dash and the Hoppers find themselves in the same league once again, reigniting a rivalry that has been dormant for 53 years, but one that goes back longer than the hyphen between Winston and Salem. 